The fox realizes that in this desolate, sun-bright field there is only him. That because of this he himself is a part of the field. That he is the whole of it. To turn into the wind too. To turn into the dried grasses. And even to turn into a streak of light. Inside the fox-coloured, desolate field, almost like existing or not existing, is being like a shadow. That too, he realises. He realises how to run almost like the wind, to run even quicker than the light. Because of this, he believes that his figure is invisible. A thing that is invisible is running while thinking. A thought alone is running. Without anyone being aware of it, the midday moon has risen above the desolate field. I wonder what thing that is coming out in opposition to time. A secret code from the future. It is not, however, that of a human being. And of course, not either from anything like a god whose existence cannot be imagined. Over there on the desert, Underneath the non-objective sky, which is drying up bit by bit, clinging to the one single blade of grass left on the earth, it is the last butterfly sending up a signal. A thing of a long time ago, a fox was running along the clay surface of a river bank. After that, several tens of thousands of years passed. That clay surface became fossil. The footprints are still there. If the footprints are seen, then what the fox was thinking while running can be understood. <laughs>